back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm Phoebe and I knit ting videos. No. I make YouTube videos for my brand Friday Knits where I design and make knitwear and I also just knit a lot as well. This is the side hustle to my main hustle. Hush, hustle? My main hustle? So this is the side hustle to my main hustle which is struggling actress. You're an unemployed actress. So you guys can tell that I'm very smart for choosing two careers that are real solid and secure for my future. So thank you guys for clicking on this video and helping support my small business. So today I am going to be going through my winter spring knits and what I have planned for this winter spring. So I know it's usually like spring, summer and then autumn, winter, but I miss autumn and now it's just like winter and spring and I have plans for both of those, hence this video. So this month is actually my birthday month and I used to hate having my birthday in May because it would always be really cold and people wouldn't want to go out and do things and I always used to wish like if I was born in the northern hemisphere I wouldn't have this problem like I'd be able to go out and have drinks with my friends by the beach and it'd be like all fun but then I remembered I don't have friends so so my point is I just decided to take at least one month off and just make things for myself and knit things for myself even though the things that I do design are things that I want to knit sometimes you spend like weeks or even months with one design and it, you start to feel really burnt out and you start to like lose the love of the whole process and it becomes like a bit of a chore so that's why I yeah, I want to take the time off and I want to go through my works in progress and also maybe a few future designs that I might have coming up. Yeah, I'm really excited about that and we will get into the video. I have this yarn here that I absolutely love. This is from Wool and the Gang. It is a really beautiful soft baby alpaca. It's their Feeling Good yarn, which I think a lot of people know about and it's so just squishy and soft. And I just, you have to put it on your face when you get it. Anyway, this is mineral pink. And I do have a plan for this yarn. I, this is probably more a spring knit that I'm planning on making. This is a design and it is a, like a cabled sort of cardigan design. So I can't say too much. I don't even have it drawn up really, but essentially it's gonna be using this yarn. It's gonna be so soft. And I already have like another cardigan that's from a similar yarn as well, so can't get too much into that. I just wanted to show you that yarn anyway. So another thing I've been loving lately is seeing all of the beautiful embroidered knitwear that uh, is just online, like everyone's just embroidering on their knitwear and I never would have thought of that myself to be honest. I don't think I'm the best embroiderer, embroiderer, embroideress. I don't think I can embroider that well. I really love seeing it so I kind of want to give it a go. I did try it on this top that I made here and I test knitted this for a lovely uh, knitter on Instagram. Her name is Rachel Knits Things and this is her latest Daisy Daisy crop top which you can purchase. It's available now I'm pretty sure and this was my first sort of go at embroidering. I decided to do it because I thought it'd be good to try it out and see if I liked it on like a really simple design. So I actually really enjoyed it. it the embroidery is really <laughs> uneven. It's like terrible. I think part of it had to do with the yarn I used as well. Like the yarn I used was linen so I think that really affected how it, the stitches like sat and like when I was working with them it was all a bit terrible. Really cute top though. It's winter here so I have to wait till summer to wear this out. So the idea I had for my embroidered design was going to be a cardigan and it would be like a sort of high neck and then like it comes down, comes down and then you've got your yoke and then from there you have your design on your yoke and then at the bottom part will be that sort of like ski lodge feeling with like a really cute little feral design. Kind of like something you'd see in those old knitting magazines where you can knit something for an entire family and it's all the same design and the kids always look like they just came from children of the corn or whatever. That, that's basically it. And the yarn I have for it is either this yarn here, which is this really nice blue color. 
or this really lovely yellow which I think would look so so pretty with like a pop of colour, like a spring colour. I don't know which one to use for it, oh, I'll figure it out. I'm sort of like leaning this way more but I do like this one as well, like it's a nice really bright blue. <sighs> and that's it for today's first world problems, having too much yarn. Alright, something a bit more wintry I think. I have a whole bag here of... Oh my god! Wool in their gang, of course. But I am mixing it with a yarn from We Are Knitters. So I recently just finished watching The Good Place, obviously with Kristen Bell, and there's an episode where she wears this really cute rainbow top, and I just freaking loved it. And now I kind of want to make everything in rainbow, and I actually do have plans to make some things from that show because I just freaking love that show. Anyway, Kristen Bell's the best. Like she also knits, and I wonder if she was knitting that exact top that I'm thinking of knitting. So this one shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna use my no sweat sweater pattern and then work from that and that'll be pretty easy. Like I've got the colours here. The only thing I'll have to calculate is the number of stripes that I'll have to do in that but either way that's what I'm gonna do and I do have a video idea for it so I'm gonna do that as well so keep your eye out for that and the notification bell as well I guess. Is that a thing still? I actually don't know. I'm just saying that because I've heard other YouTubers say it. This is that Feeling Good Yarn again, but this is in a beautiful eucalyptus green, which I, I've just seen everywhere on Instagram and I just, when I saw it, I had to get it because I just freaking loved it. And I bought a lot of these because this is going to be another cardigan design and it is, again, it's a design so I can't get too much into it, but it's going to be like really cute and probably blonde as well, like one of those like really cute loungy ones or whatever. And so my next design, I actually don't have the yarn because I used up all of the yarn for it and I've already knit it up. It's going to be in next week's video, but it is my Mona cardigan or Mona cardigan. I don't know what the right way to say it is, but it uses this really beautiful yarn. I think these ones still have little like flecks in them. You can see little, but it is so nice. I'm really really happy with it and if you guys want to see that, you check it out in next week's video. So next, this is a design of my own and I've sort of shown this in another video but this is basically another cardigan. It's a lot of cardigans that I'm making. But this is another cardigan and it is a top down like everything else I do. It has a fringe design and it's long and I deliberately did it with gold buttons on it and pockets as well and it's basically just meant to be like a really cute summery sort of feeling cardigan. I, oh excuse me, I first saw this on Margot Robbie in the 72 Vogue question videos, I don't know, but I saw something like it and it was like from Chanel and I'm like that's extra and I wanted that and I freaking love it and this is currently in testing so it'll probably come out by after in August depending on obviously rewrites and stuff and this is made from like a merino wool I think maybe it was a bit too heavy because it's an iron weight merino wool so it ended up being a little bit heavier I think than I would have preferred but in the end I still really really like it like it's still nice to wear out and my next one I'm going to be making in in a really lovely cotton this cotton and it is this is from War and the Gang again sponsor me and this is in the cinnamon color and I thought it'd be really nice for that transitional season sort of feeling like if you want to because I design I sort of made it in a way that you could wear it for autumn like autumn I don't know what's for summer autumn or spring summer or just summer so I'm going to be making a cropped version with this yarn which I'm hoping works out. I think it'll look really cute. In my head, I have like a whole, it feels like a whole festival thing. Like you could wear it to festivals with that sort of vibe maybe going on. I don't know. That would work. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but I'm definitely gonna try it and see. Caught it, ah, 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 ah. Feels cold. Next up, I am working on sweaters. I'm actually making his and hers sweaters. This is the zipper sweater by Petite Knit. So I am making one for myself. This one is for me. And then this one is for the husband. And I haven't gotten, wait, it's that way. For 
here's one. He's doing this really beautiful green color, kind of like a teal color. And he decided to have like a bit of yellow on the top just for contrasting. And then I'm going to add that yellow along the cuffs and then the bottom part as well. So he, I'm still working on the raglan. For this one, I am using this Cascade Superwash yarn in a color I usually says on it. It's this Cascade yarn, which is really, really nice and beautifully soft. And I like that I have to wind it up so I can use my umbrella winder and stuff. And for mine, I'm using the Merry Wool, which is really, really, this is so beautifully soft and I can't wait to wear it out. And I'm really, I'm kind of looking forward to doing the zipper, but not really. And I'd like to do the zipper now. I haven't found a zipper I love. I feel like that's what's going to make or break this. So I'm sort of looking for the perfect zippers for these so we can wear them out. So this one I have, it is the Friday Jumper. This is a design by me and it is one I've worked up already. This one I made in Wool and the Gang. This is so nice and this was actually from another pattern I made earlier on. I didn't really write the pattern, I was just making it for myself and I was mucking around and I had this yarn and I made this sweater, jumper, whatever. They were all basically the same thing. I made that up and it was something I made and I was just really playing around and I really loved it and a lot of people really really liked on Instagram as well so I just thought I would make up uh, a proper version of it and grade it for everyone and it's so nice and I wanted to have a really nice cute retro feeling with it so I made this folded down collar and then longer cuffs it kind of makes it feel really cozy having like a big warm hug or something and the sleeves are more oversized because of a slight puff. It's sort of that style where body sits not super oversized. So this is worked entirely top down and it is also a set in sleeve style. So it has set in sleeves and those are worked top down as well. And the bottom cuff is obviously just all matches the top and stuff. But I think there's so many ways you could like do this and I'm so excited to see everyone's colors and stuff while making this. This is currently in testing. I'm hoping this will be released soon so that you guys can see it and buy it and enjoy it and make it and wear it yay so if you guys actually watched my video on how to make a basic beanie I actually still have some a lot of yarn left over that's really it I don't have any other plans on what I could make with this so I'm probably gonna make another one because if you watch the video I actually made it too big so I'm gonna make a smaller one and then I'm gonna give the bigger one to someone else, maybe my husband, and then we can be matching in our hats and our zipper sweaters and that'll be really um, weird actually, but I don't care. <laughs> I care a little bit. Yeah, so that's, I think that's basically really it, everything for winter, spring. I have some yarn out here that I have planned for summer, but I don't really have those plans yet because I'm just like freezing cold here all the time. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're making anything similar, like whether it's my own pattern or something else that I showed you here, then let me know in the comments below. If you do make something of mine, I'd love to see it. Please tag me on Instagram because I love seeing everyone's designs and I love seeing all these versions of it. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!